Cervical cancer is the third most common gynecologic cancer in the United States. In some countries, the rates are declining, and the U.S. is one of those countries because fortunately we've implemented preventative health care to prevent HPV, the virus that causes the cancer, as well as screening programs to catch and detect the cancer at early, even pre-cancerous forms or at early stage curable forms. HPV is found in more than 99% of cervical cancer, so it's definitely a causative uh, factor. Most people acquire HPV from sexual contact, but it doesn't have to be intercourse, it can be any form of sexual contact. Most uh, people will be infected with HPV at some point in their life, but for most people it comes and goes, almost like the common cold comes and goes as a virus. When HPV is present in the cells for a very long period of time, it causes damage in the DNA of the cells, and that's what can lead to the cell forming a cancerous change and eventually a cancer. The good news is that about two decades ago, some really brilliant scientists worked on and developed a vaccine that uh, fight against or prevent um, HPV. Having this vaccine administered prior to the age of first sexual contact and when individuals' immune system is really robust, that's typically when we're young, is ideal. And so the ideal age to be vaccinated against HPV is about age 9 to 11. Individuals up until the age of 26 can still receive catch-up vaccination and should talk to their doctors about that if they have not been vaccinated. Um, and even some individuals now up until the age of 45. A pap smear is a test in which we screen for cervical cancer by placing a speculum in the vagina to visualize the cervix. The cervix is the neck of the womb or the uterus, and the uterus is the structure in the pelvis that typically carries the baby during a pregnancy. And all individuals who have a cervix should be screened for cervical cancer. After we've visualized the cervix, we can collect some cells from the surface of the cervix. Um, after those cells are collected, they are sent off to be tested for changes in the cells that might be precancerous changes and can also be tested for the HPV virus. And what's ideal about that is it can allow us to catch changes in the cervical tissue before cancer has formed. And we have treatments that are very tolerable for patients to remove or eliminate those abnormal cells before a cancer has formed. In general, pap smear screening should begin at the age of first sexual contact or at age 21. As a gynecologic oncologist, or a cancer doctor for cervical cancer, I see the significant impact that this disease can play on patients, but I'm optimistic and hopeful in the future that I'll be treating fewer patients with this disease because we have a, a means to prevent it with the vaccine and means to detect it at an early or even pre-cancerous form with, with screening tests.